tutorial I will talk about the game mechanics and race manager. For this tutorial I created a very simple racing track using the 3D Autosports drop track and road course pack. Thank you to 3D Autosports for creating this awesome package. It's very simple and um, very um, fit theme parts. So you just have to um, add them to your scene and use the vertex snapping function of the unity to create very flat s scenes. So this is very easy to create any raising game. I highly suggest to check this out to new developers. So let's lock that first. Okay. So when you start the um, raising game development, you have to create your scene, of course. After this um, modeling stuff completed, you have to um, start with race manager to start rigging your scene. For this, you can use the raising game kit menu. First, you have to add race manager to your scene. I will pick none now because I don't want to add any UI right now but you can choose what kind of UI you want to use in um, your game mobile and desktop UI components are different especially desktop uses the dynamic font so you may want to use mobile UI to mobile version of your game alright uh, race manager component created when you um, click the race manager component you will see uh, some box available first of all we have five buttons at top these buttons are uh, created to create required components without any problems like um, raising game kit menu items you can use both of them and we have warning box in this warning box raising game kit shows you which uh, containers are missing or not configured yet like waypoint container is not uh, available in scene so it will show you as an error um, but different the checkpoint container has not error sign because checkpoint container not uh, required on every race only um, speed trap or time attack race requires the checkpoint container container box is the actual fields of this container so when you create it they will be um, assigned to these fields uh, camera box uh, is used to define what kind of camera system you, you, you will use in your race like split screen mode uh, or single player mode race settings uh, used to uh, customize your, your raising environment like you can pick your um, raising type we'll use a circuit for this uh, scene and when you change the um, race type there will be additional uh, settings available uh, so you can uh, configure them as you wish like I will use three laps in our game. Total racers are defines how many races available on track. You can add f more racers to races fields, but total racers um, option value will define how many races available on track. Countdown from is uh, options to define new start countdown seconds. Like if you want to show some uh, additional um, in-game cinematics or uh, any other um, camera animations before the start race, um, you can increase this value like mm, ten, and this will be a count from ten. So as default it's five. 
these options start raise on level load is have some different uses like if you want to start raising by yourself or if you want to make uh, some s some special configuration on race manager before start to race you have to uncheck these and start race by manually by calling race manager dot start race function if you uh, left this checked it will not uh, update your custom configuration by scripts and it will start with initial settings stop race after player finish allows you to stop game when your player pass the finish point if you uncheck this you have to wait until all racers finish the raising so uh, this is very good usage for some scenarios so it's uh, based your game design um, player card continues after finishes requires some very custom setup like uh, you have to add AI controller and AI itself to play a card but you have to set them disabled so when uh, player finish the game you can continue to uh, showing the player card with this different in-game cinematic camera or something else but it will not allow the player play the uh, race anymore it will be something like AI will driving player car um, and you show the player car with different angles uh, as in some games so this will allow you to uh, this option AI continues after finish is an option to allow you your AI not stopped after finish the race they will uh, continue spinning around the track so it's a uh, may good option to uh, circuit race move responder racer to ignore layer actually it's not uh, fit the um, design um, in some uh, scenarios maybe AI stuck at the environment uh, environment objects because of collisions or um, decision making have some flow so um, they will spawn on track with the nearest waypoint so uh, when they spawn if another raising passing by they will crash um, this option um, help you to avoid that uh, scenarios um, it will move the respondent racers to ignore layers so it will uh, ignored by any other um, any other AI or players then after few seconds it will be back to normal AI uh, layer show checkpoint arrow is um, something that created to hide and show uh, checkpoint arrow available on the race camera to um, showing the where the nearest checkpoint so you can disable or enable this function Razors are the cars on the track AI and players also called as racer in the racing game kit so you can configure them uh, in Razor's box. Uh, player profile and player spawn position fields available in version 1.2 because of background compatibility, and in next versions they will be removed because I changed the workflow in area. Uh, you have to add a Razor slot to um, add Razor profiles to Race Manager so you can add any amount of razor slot but initially um, this uh, total razors value will be uh, spawned razors on the track like 
you can add for uh, Razer Prefab but only two will be available on the, the track mm, the spawn order will define this uh, how we how the raising game kits will uh, make the spawn decision so it may choose randomly from the slots or it may choose the by order like we have two razors available for our game um, so in this first two razor will be spawned on race or you can choose them randomly and spawn mode is define what kind of spawning will occur in this time like um, if you pick random race manager will pick randomly in um, this race but it may choose same AI twice so you may see multiple time of same same AI mm, or if you choose the one time each in spawn mode option it will choose the same AI only once so it will not um, there will be not duplicated AI on track AI naming mode is something you can use your razor names like uh, besides the player name you can add some custom names to your AI I create a, a new JSON file for this functionality so you can edit these items or co copy and increase the amount of these uh, names this file locates under raising game kit resource folder and naming mode defines how these names will choose if you pick random it will be uh, picked randomly from this file and if you pick order it will just pick the first name for the uh, slot 1 second name for the slot 2 or you can uh, choose the uh, form razor register component this way you can create individual pl player prefabs for each AI and you can give a name for this prefab so always same prefab will have some same name in uh, track enable startup camera animation for uh, some fancy animation at before the start like in three seconds it will um, show from left to in two seconds it will show from right then top then initially raise, raise position so you can enable or disable this function and start music after countdown um, defines when the um, background music will start like you can just start um, when the raising level loaded or uh, you can start the music when the race start race information uh, is just informative values about the race so you don't have to configure anything about this part debug is something to help you understand uh, some configuration parts on your track like uh, distance gives an also created to make smoother uh, distance measurement uh, actually it co copies the waypoints and uh, multiplies the given distance point de density and make the um, distance point measurement smoother so you can uh, enable or disable distance gizmos this is most important um, component of the raising game kit you can read m all uh, property explanations from the um, knowledge base that's it see you next tutorial thank you for watching